Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome. So we'll begin going in just a moment here. Been having a nice reception to Pride of Nations so far, which is really quite nice. Uh, now, of course, I do have to stress the point, but if you guys do enjoy my content and you would like to see it continue, I... Uh, it would be very, very good if you guys would consider becoming patrons of mine on Patreon, of course. There will be a link in the actual description. It does help me out significantly. And just to drive home the point, to make about 72 pence on YouTube, assuming uh, that all of these are <laughs> non ad block views, I, I need about a thousand views to make, uh, make 72 pence. So yeah, this is why Patreon's so good. <laughs> How you doing there, Fron? It's good to have you, my friend. Yeah, it sounded like really like a nice meal that you had yesterday. This um, afternoon, well, actually, yeah, about afternoon, evening time, I did make a a mass man curry, uh, a Thai mass man curry, I believe it is. I uh, used sweet potatoes, onions. Um, shrimp paste. Now, if you guys have ever tried shrimp paste, it's the saltiest fish on, like, the saltiest thing on earth, really. It's really nice. I love salty stuff. Uh, so use some of that. Okay. That's a thing. Huh. Okay, must have missed that one last turn. Unless that's just a, literally just happened today. I don't think we would have missed that, so that must be really quite recent now. Seems so, I mean, that is one of our largest cities as well, so we can't have that, can we? Okay, looks like the army will be sent out to deal with this. Who do we have here, then? So that is our fleet admiral. I do have... I think you are indeed a general. You are corrupt, but you're a good subordinate. Good corrupt strategist. <laughs> I mean, that is, uh... I mean, if... if <laughs> okay. Well, either way, let's see here. Combine you. I could potentially combine you here with the actual units. Right, let's take a look then. ha. <laughs> We're not doing too bad here. How you doing there, J Street? Yeah, it's one of these things. It's like, to be honest, I've not been doing too much at the moment. Um, What I've been doing at the moment is... Uh, what have I been doing? I was trying to figure out what I want to get. It's like, I want to get into like doing some like modern... Like, uh, wargaming as well. So I've been looking at the Heroics and Ross website here earlier on. I was like looking like towards like different. Uh, they've only just reopened and then, so I was like looking at the six millimeter stuff and that. Uh, so all the pictures need to be added. But I'm kind of thinking maybe going like this. But uh, I'm not gonna lie. The uh, GHQ stuff is freaking amazing. It is expensive though. It's more expensive, but it's super super nice. I know this is a tangent. Um, you guys should be used to this by now. I just want to show you how good an M1A2 or Abrams looks. It looks so good. I mean, I imagine the leopards look great as well. Let's see. US, where are we going? Right, United States, there we go. Tanks and self-repelled. Yeah, here we go. M1A2. Ah. That's gorgeous. You get four of them in a pack, but that is absolutely out of this world beautiful. And it's sort of the MGs over here. Just, mwah, you know what I mean? Just gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So, um, yeah, <laughs> if I get sponsored by GH, I'd be quite happy, but not going to happen, but I will. Yeah. How you doing there, Nostalgic? Good to have you, my friend. Thai food don't have often enough. Yeah, I mean, this is it. It's like, I really want to learn how to make more authentic dishes of that nature, really. It's one of these things, isn't it? You got you just got to, like, figure out what you like. So let's take a look at our... God, everybody's corrupt. Okay, what does corrupt actually do? Provides a 15% increase on the whole stack supply consumption. Okay. He's loyal tactician of Yulan. Uh, plus one discipline and 50% assault on all infantry. Yeah, that's superb, actually. Hmm. 
Right, combine. Can I combine in the engineers? No, it doesn't seem so. Our engineer... Okay, so you're just a stack unit. That works out fine for me, then. Okay, we are going to have them since you put down the rebels. There we go. We do have some rebels over here. Uh, do, well, do, uh, do, 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 ah, God damn it. I feel like I'm going to say double deckers in like the chocolate bars. I love seeing these French ships. You can really feel the difference in industrial might in the fact that uh, we have sail ships and they are rocking out here. With what looked to be ironclads. Uh, it seems like it could be. I mean, let's let's take a look then. Where have I got another general? I've got another general over here in Sarajevo. Um, it's not all of them, so that's not... Yeah, that's not bad. We do have some decent uh, generals then, so that's at least something going for us. Okay. Well, that'll be resolved then shortly. Satisfaction is increasing. I did have a suggestion on the last video. I'm just going to go ahead and take a look at that. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is from uh, BL, BLXZ, or Blix, Blix, Blux, I don't know, uh, I think it's Blix, but I'm probably a little bit like autistic or something like that, and I'll just read it the wrong way. <laughs> okay. Right, with regards to the F4 screen you looked near the end, on the fourth line down it mentions how much you size your population. So we'll go over here to inorganic. So, construction various, okay. Uh, worthwhile right clicking on call and manufacture goods to bring them down to 5% lowest while up and other goods in the same. Okay. Coal belongs to the common goods group. Population can buy, buy most 28 wares. 35, okay. All right, okay, so I see here. Ah. 30% of this type of good is assigned to your national and colonial markets. Left click to increase this by 5% or right click to reduce it by 5%. Interesting. Right, okay, so what we're doing here then is we're going to reduce... Ah, oh, thank you very much for that, Blix. Uh, really handy there. So what we're doing here is reducing this, uh, the amount of coal that they can buy to the lowest amount. And we'll do that with manufactured goods as well. So then we should actually be able to retain more of that. So, while well, up in other goods in the same group like textiles. This creates a greater supply for you to use in the state at no negative cost. Right. Interest in food, common goods, and luxury goods. Okay. So we'll increase the amount of textiles that's available for the actual general population to buy. But that's excellent. That is excellent. So we can see what is being used here. Opium. Hmm. So, opium is in the luxury goods. So is silk, and I'd imagine gems are gems artificial. Yeah, gems count as artificial then. Interesting. Well, what I'm going to do then is stop the population from buying gems. We want to really stockpile them to make cash. Uh, I think I'll do the same with... Silk is really quite excellent. We'll do the same with silk then, hey. Okay. We'll not be as happy, but I'd rather have this available. At least we can use that. Yeah, well, this is it. They'll have to make do for the time being, but we'll use the actual uh, funds that we'll be able to generate from things like that and use it to improve the economy. Yeah, I think we need to increase the basic amount of supplies of different goods. Food isn't a bad idea to start with as well. It's fairly cheap as well, 433 capital. Um, I could do that, obviously it comes down to the manufactured goods. It might be worthwhile doing so. Fruited steel involved, fisherman port. 
cotton fields. We do have additional cotton uh, production that can be tapped into. Now, this is it. I could build them over here in Egypt, for example. Uh, but the thing is, of course, there's always a possibility that I believe they can be seized. So it's a risky proposition. But it might be worth doing. At least then we'd have additional production. But we have enough probably within our own uh, colonies to be able to do it. Hmm. Yeah. So let's see. We could obviously do it in Jerusalem. Mesopotamia, I'd imagine, would be quite good. Cereals over here. Nitrites. What is it that we could maybe tap into then? So tobacco, we could really look towards actually increasing the amount of tobacco produced. Considering that we have actually a decent amount of tobacco, I don't think many people in Europe actually have access to tobacco as such. Tropical fruits, okay. Now that's something that is actually worthwhile. It would be good to actually uh, help out the general population. Right, cattle farms, wool farms, wood logins, obviously very handy. Yeah, the cotton fields. I mean, it looks like we can have some cotton production in Syria. And over there in Bulgaria, it seems. But it would be Egypt mostly. Vineyards, very good. Rice paddies, obviously we don't have access to that. Fruits would be nice. Ports, obviously, fishermen ports would be nice. Okay. Um, hmm. Interesting. Yes, plenty of manufactured goods required there. Hey, do man, no names. Good to have you as always, my friend. Yeah, so you would produce textiles, you would produce chemicals and dyes. Dyes are not bad at all, actually. So, we've started the production well, the actual uh, fortress being built over here. Okay. Let's see, uh, we'll go over here, go to ships. Right, I need manufactured goods. I'd like to gain access to more markets, actually, so that's something to bear in mind. Okay, you can just uh, go within the actual city. Same for you over there. At least we have a decent garrison there. More French assets over there. They are moving them, which is interesting. Do not believe we're at war, so that's something to bear in mind. Yeah, the garrison here is more than capable of handling this. Interesting though that they've appeared at all. How you doing, Aquilaris? <laughs> okay, dude. See you soon. Right, we'll move forward then. Uh, but we'll go and check on the war in Yemen. Okay. Yeah, you're heading back for supplies. So, we are increasing our colonial influence, uh, influence over here. In the Gulf States, so that's going to be very nice. I think it'd be worthwhile going ahead and building up the uh, fruit production over there. That'd be quite nice, considering it, it's, it's the source that we have there. Broke down and started blame pressure. <laughs> Sounds about right. Mm-hmm. So we're going to deal with the rebels over there, which is irritating, but uh, ultimately not too bad.
Yeah, they're good moving south. Okay, I do wonder what the French are doing. <laughs> I am genuinely quite curious about it. Okay, there we go. The wealth of capital in your country led to the emergence of a new businessman. He managed to close a deal for 8 gems for 150. Now... Gems, gems, gems. We actually have 10 gems at the moment, which is excellent. To be honest, I might hold on to them and drip feed them for sale, actually, try and keep the price high. I think that might... I don't know if we can actually affect it like that, but I'd like to say so. Uh, your request to buy manufactured goods in Chesapeake Bay has been cancelled uh, because no one's selling these goods anymore. Okay. Uh, so what time place... Uh, sorry, what time period does this game take place in? Well, we started in 1850, but you can play 1850 to 1920 or 1880 to 1920. Basically, the uh, Age of Empires, I suppose you could say. Um, can't really think of a better way to describe it. Uh, Royal Revolt a lot of steel from France now. We are stockpiling our steel. We're going to need that steel. The economy can afford it, which is excellent. Though I think we did lose a little bit more private capital there. Probably some of our sales went through, but it's worthwhile. We bought free manufactured goods there from the Prussians. Oh no, is it the Germans? Yeah, the... Prussians? Yeah, the Prussians. Sometimes you just have to go and check if it's <laughs> unified yet. Okay, here we go. So, trading price of manufactured goods has decreased to 7. Okay, trading price of luxury goods has decreased to current value of 15. Okay. Our people aren't as happy, they're not buying as much, obviously. But that's fine. It means when the prices do go up, we'll be able to sell for more, which is good. Obviously, that's going to help us out. And let's take a look then. So, obviously, West Ottoman. There we go. I mean, silk is at 12. To be honest, textiles, holy hell, look at that price. That price is amazing. Should be unified around 1871. Yeah, probably something like that. Yeah, 18 for the gems here. What we'll do then is we'll start selling one at a time and we'll see if we can affect the price. If the price drops, I'll stop selling them, really. Okay. So we have 11 manufactured goods, which is good. Okay. I think what we'll do then, that's actually quite a decent... Uh, yeah, brigade. two brigades of our actual rebels. We'd be there in five days, so we'd be there next turn. I'm going to have to go and deal with these fellows over here. Am I, I'm not... Yeah, I'm neutral relations with the... I don't know what's going on there. I might build a fortress over here on uh, Crete, considering the fact that we don't have anything there. It does worry me ever so slightly. Yeah. Potentially in the future, but then again, it's one of these things of like, is it potentially even worth it? Hmm. 240 days there. If I could make the fortress of cars a real and proper fortress would be quite handy. Right. Merchants of the Ottoman Empire have begun to trade with Dubai, Trucial, and Qatar. Okay. So let's see, do I have access to the... Yeah, we need another trade. Merchant ship de uh, desperately, really. I 
I could potentially... I'm going to go ahead and buy some wine, actually. Uh, that should make the general population quite happy. At least it'll help to make them happy. Victorian period... Well, Victorian time period, really. Yeah, probably the best way. <laughs> oh, thank you very much there, from. Really appreciate it, my friend. Yeah, what I'm going to be doing is... Uh, I'm going to be making actual property rewards available soon. So I think what I'm go going to be doing then is basically... I don't know if I could get aircraft. I'd love to try and find, like, a supplier to get aircraft. Um, but I can do tanks at the moment. So I just need to set it up, but what I'm thinking is basically... Uh, I could have, like, obviously different Patreon levels. So let's say, for example... Uh, I don't know, we could have, like, Japanese patrons. And you get, like, a hug go or something like that. So I just need to get that actually set up. But I've got a supplier for that. I just need to get the entire thing priced and worked out, really. The only issue is obviously like international. Uh, so it might be that I'd have to have like a price for UK buyers and then European buyers and then like international buyers. But I'll see. But I'm glad you reminded me about that. I do need to take a look. But thank you very much for everyone. Yeah, I know. Look at those British railways. Oh, crazy, isn't it? So very really jealous. We don't actually take a look at uh, Tripoli too often, do we? What do you actually have over here? So I have nine trains over here. I mean, man, if I could get a Titan for Heavy, that'd be all. That'd be like really cool. Right, we do have dyes over here, but nice. I'll have to see what I could get in terms of like Japanese. I mean, Americans are far easier, and like other nations are far easier. Uh, so Prime Nations is a turn-based. <laughs> Pretty much. Uh, looks like the stream's just uh, refreshing there. Uh, when does oil become a thing? Probably very, well, quite a few years from now, actually. It's going to refresh my end on Twitch. And there we go, it's still live. That's good. Must be just on my side. Then again, I'm watching it in 1080 and I don't even need to. I don't even need to watch my end, to be fair. There we go. Okay, so moving over there. That's fine. So I suppose, uh, let's figure out what our priorities are. I need to make cash. Ah, so we discussed this last time, didn't we? So the way that we're going to be able to make cash, man, is we need to go ahead and build these exploitation centers. I do believe these count as markets, I believe I was told last night. That's the depot. City itself. Hmm. Well, the open field will be done in the near future, actually. So I've got the fort over there, we've got the market. Is the market, I wonder, through Colonial? It could be. Yeah, generates private capital. Though I don't think so, actually. Hmm. That's probably what we need there, the colonial trade and post, perhaps. Hmm. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can actually afford to build up a merchantman yet. No, not yet. Turks merchant ships, Turks merchant ships, so these ones are just... Yeah, so these are clippers, these are sail ships, okay. So that's 12 manufactured goods, 600 capital. 
Yeah, I need to produce actual money. Oh, so I'm just one manufactured good shy. Fair enough. That'll be ready soon enough. I'm making a lot from the silk over here, which is excellent. Okay, so when we have more manufactured goods, I think it might be uh, potentially a trade-off. I think it'd be worthwhile to build additional merchant ships. I mean, to be honest, being able to access different markets would be really awesome. We'll have to figure out how to make money. I'm gonna actually Google it. I mean, this is the, uh, the beauty of these very long turns, is I can, like, Google things where I'm, like, not actually playing. <laughs> uh, okay. So if I can figure out how to make money, then I can figure out how to boost research, and that gives me a lot of things to do there. Okay, so uh, appears to have been some rebels over there. <laughs> we should have a battle of our own uh, soon, naturally. Uh, viable resources. We produce gems and we'll be producing... Uh, actually, I thought we would have seen about Might be next one. Um, yeah, I see Tunisian army. Okay, yeah, we'll see battle here next turn. Oh, the stack is not activated. That would be why. Okay, so they're going to chill here for the time being. Well, we'll have them chill out inside the city there, rest, take on supply. And then when he's isolated next time, we'll attack. Yeah, we produce gems down here in QA. So we've got a gem field over here, which is nice. Say zero output, but I think that's just found that it's a colony. But I do believe we have access to it. Yeah, we, uh, I mean, I'm looking towards that, well, I exploit me tobacco production over here that we could potentially have. How you doing there, Corrupt Dog? I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Yeah, so we'll have opium production, so yeah, we'll be producing opium in about 90 days. It's a good few times, but uh, it'll happen soon enough. Okay. Did we actually buy any wines, but... So we bought more steel from France, we bought more steel from Prussia. I mean, steel's rather cheap at the moment.
13 steel from the USA. Right, cough is decreased, okay. So I don't think we've sold any of these as of yet. I uh, got 18 manufactured goods here. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, we do have we do have some coal. Like we have a little bit of coal around here. We've got coal over here. Not huge amounts of coal. I mean, like you take a look at Britain, for example. Uh, yeah, they've got four units of coal there. Three, five, five. For, they've got lots and lots of coal. They've got um, they've got iron. They haven't got a huge amount of iron. Well, they've got they've got iron. They've got a lot of iron. <laughs> I'll put it that way. They've got all the stuff they need for obviously industrialization. I mean, we do have coal and iron. It's just obviously like getting access to those deposits. Like that has a uh, decent amount of iron. We're just gonna have to slowly but surely build up the empire's economy, really. Yeah, and it's just not having to worry about coal, Germany, American GB. Yeah, I mean, this is it. I suppose the best thing we could do here is just stockpile coal as much as possible, really, because it's going to come to the point at which we have to really uh, beg borrowed steel. Yeah, pretty much. Okay, so he'll be able to attack next turn. I need to figure out how I'm going to make cash. Well, money. We'll call it. We'll call these state funds, we'll call this private capital. That makes it easier. I mean, textiles would be fantastic, but I'm going to really save up for that. But it would be very nice. I mean, the prices do seem really excellent at the moment. Yeah, I mean, if it's trading at 12, that's that's really awesome. <laughs> In fairness, it might be worthwhile trying to um, improve our relations with one of the major powers. I think we'll go with the British... I can propose a state visit. In fairness, it might be worthwhile impre well increase our relations with the major powers anyhow. Although uh, Germany's not a bad idea either. Well, Prussia. I really am considering like um, our options with Egypt. That's very good. And we do have the option to actually build in Egypt, which is good. I mean, what's our relations with Egypt? Oh, minus four, okay. Probably not a good idea, man. Yeah, that makes sense. So then, guys, how are we going to make more cash and like, how are we going to make more state funds? I think that's a real big question, isn't it? <laughs> Just pretty money, yeah, but that'd be alright.
To be honest, it's like I really just want to go ahead and try... And I don't know. We need to figure out how we're going to get railroads. I think we'll have the technology spread to us at some point. No, I can't imagine government reform has been an easy thing at all, really. Okay. Uh, just seize complete power, crush all the opposition, yeah. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, there we go. Six opium maps, awesome. So we managed to buy more manufactured goods, which is good. Oh, there we go. We sold gems to Britain for 18. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, we sold fruits to France, to Prussia, to Britain. We bought some steel from the US. Well, that's not bad then. At least we aren't able to do it. So that works for us then. Right, so we can see that these markets have shipped cereals to Constantinople, uh, Constantinople wool, tropical fruits, nitrates. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, Japan would have been really fun. I think the Ottoman Empire, just because it's so, like, you don't see it too often, but I think the second choice would probably have been Japan. You're still not active. God damn it. We'll leave you there anyway. Hmm. Okay, let's go ahead and take a look at this then. So it looks like it probably would be through tax as well. Uh, loans aren't a thing, unfortunately. Uh, at least I don't think they're a th Yeah, I don't think they're a thing here. So... Yeah, state income from corporate tax, excise tax, tariffs, quarterly maritime tax. So state maintenance, well, unit maintenance is what's costing us. I don't think we have anything that produces it per se. Hmm. It might be worthwhile just trying to go for the increase in textile production. It would be nice, obviously, gained in that additional amount of textiles. Just really increase the amount of industrialization that we have. We are slowly but surely gaining money, though. I mean, how should we actually gain that? Let's take a look. So, 57. I might just be able to finance. Potentially some, in well, research. It's still going to take a long time, but it's at least something. Gun cotton, mechanical saws. I need... I need rails. Not going to lie, steam figures would be pretty cool. I don't think we have access to it yet. Rails just kind of pop, yeah, pretty much. 
I mean, there's some nice technologies in there, but I don't think it's any that really, like, worth too terribly much. I'd rather just wait until we had something that was worthwhile. Keep building up the state um, finances, really. Yeah, send everybody back. We're not going forward, just taking everybody back. <laughs> Would you say you're a little bit biased now, Aquilaris, consumed by your players' depressions? <laughs> yeah, I mean, just going over things, it's it's one of these things at the moment, isn't it, with the, um, the Ottomans. Steel, I can get a hold of. Manufactured goods is hard. Hard to get that. So, <sighs> the good news is we've got the actual national requirements down for the most part. Well, the, the defense requirements. We needed the new fortresses and we have begun to build them, which is excellent. So, that's at least that done. I could potentially look at further fortress building. Yep, there we go. Small battle there against the rebels. And we finish them off. Yeah, so we've got the national defense more or less sorted out. Obviously, we do need to win the war in Yemen, but that's fine. I mean, it just needs a little bit of supply down there and then we'll win. Oh, it's a morale boost. Okay. Discipline boost. Yeah, that's true. A lot of games have it where discipline is like how much damage you inflict and stuff like that, really. Okay. Ah, see you later there, Jay Street. Have a beautiful night, my friend. Thank you very much. Ah, uh, sequel due. <laughs> I don't know, maybe... Maybe 2090? Something like that? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Auto end all walls, too. And, uh, Civil War 2 is really good combat. I mean, to end all wars is quite fun. It's just, it's just the actual bloody game engine itself. It's just so, it just likes to crash. And that's the thing that really it just ruins it. It's just, yeah, if it was more reliable, it'd be awesome. It's like uh, Revolution Under Siege is really cool. It's just the fact that it's so bloody likely to crash. It's annoying. Uh, declined our proposal, declined, uh, refused our proposal. Okay. That's nice. Oh, well, they've taken it over there. So now that's, that's about then, really. I just need to get more supply down here. <laughs> yeah. Oh, uh, dear. I wish I had that kind of pressure. I can moan them. I can moan them. I think what I'm going to do here, then, is we'll take these two, so the supply there, and I'm going to have them move down here to Yemen. Have a move via riverine transportation, so it'll take them 27 days to arrive, which should be worthwhile. Get that additional supply in there, build them back up, and then we'll go forwards. Okay. So we're looking at... 195 days? Yeah. Okay. It'd be interesting to play as one of the larger nations. Like, I reckon France would be really cool to play as. Do I have any... Do I have access to anybody over anybody else's market? So I've got access to all these markets over here. Obviously, these markets I don't have access to. So let's see what Spain has for me. Well, Portugal. Fair enough. Spain. Uh, nothing really. But I'll tell you what, it might be worthwhile buying this coal while it is cheap, actually. 
Yeah, I can imagine Britain as well. It's just like... Uh... <laughs> it's just keeping everybody else in check, isn't it? You're like, mm, you want to go over there? Hmm, how about no? Yeah, I can imagine. Like Victoria too, it feels like you've got too much to do all the time. But you can do some crazy stuff, it's awesome. Yeah, we'll go ahead and buy that coal. I really want manufactured goods, but no one's really selling the goddamn things. Ah, hello there, sweet op opportunity. Manufactured goods are being really cheap at the moment, actually, which is awesome. I've got a decent amount of capital so I can play with that. Mm, the Caucasus. I could buy tea in the Caucasus. It's worthwhile buying something there. Right, the East Balkans. I'll buy that coal. The Greeks, okay. Yeah, I can imagine that'd be really quite good. You're making me want to play the British now, goddammit, I can ask. Go check out his channel, by the way. And no names. No names for... Uh, go check out his channel on YouTube as well, actually. Yeah, I mean, tobacco doesn't have the greatest amount of price, but it's something there that we'll be able to just sell. That's worth everything, really. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. So this is it. You just got to sell to uh, both sides, haven't you? Vicky 2 needs a sequel. Yeah, I mean, this is it. It's one of those things, isn't it? It's like, are they going to do a good job with, like, Victoria 3? Probably not, to be honest. It's not going to happen. Ryan, head back to Constantinople. <laughs> that false modesty there. Rebels in Libya. Oh, you're right, actually, aren't you? Good spot, good spot there, up chap. Okay, now we have a lot more than we can do over here. I can't move via, via Riverine. It's just a militia. What I'll say then is I'll have the Cavalry Brigade move out, but then again, no, I might as well have them move out together. How long is that going to take? Play ball, please. So 64 days. I'll have you ride out. You can actually go. Well, actually, you can move by Riverine Movement here. You can't, so you're going to have to march. It might be... Well, I'll tell you what, actually. What we'll do then is we do have a actual... Yeah, I've got you over here. Also brought these guys over, so we'll have them uh, offload. So we'll have you head over here. Was that to Tripolitania? I'll have the actual light cavalry make its way down here. Riverine transportation's awesome. Yeah, once we get supplies down here, we'll be able to take the fight to Yemen. You can see how having supplies is really very important. Right, manufactured goods is increasing here, which is awesome. I just need access to more of them. It might be potentially worthwhile then. There we go. Yeah, these things don't go away. I think it's worthwhile actually um, building up the actual merchant fleet. I don't know if it's really... Tiny, okay. Merchant efficiency of 10. 
Um, that's actually more efficient, man. I mean, I can go with that. I mean, they do have a better merchant efficiency. Everything else doesn't particularly matter. I don't think we need to worry about range. Uh, so we'll go ahead and start to build them up. So it looks like I can build some in Constantinople. We'll build some over here. Blind with that. And this is it. We might have to look at the Oriental markets. You can see why a nation... Uh, well, the empires. You can really see why the empires are able to really... Propagate their power. It's because they have the economies to support it, really. Yeah, steel and uh, manufactured goods are what keeps the army going. That's very true. Now, if only we could have the actual troops eat coal. That'd be awesome. <laughs> Navies eventually do. <laughs> We're going to sail the rails. I don't know what's, what's worse, a ship biscuit or a coal biscuit. I mean, they're both about this. Well, actually, no, I'd say the ship biscuit is actually a bit softer. Have them eat uranium. Right, I'm just saying, guys, we've got all this petroleum. We need to invent the first mechas. Just saying. Anime began in Constantinople in 1850. I'm sorry, guys, but that is the truth there. My god, can you imagine if anime began in Turkey? Pwah. That's, uh... There might be reality out there where that actually happened. Truly, that would be the darkest timeline. <laughs> 1850 makers, yeah. <laughs> oh, the fucking Dutch and their colonies. I wish we had them. <laughs> I don't think... Can he actually play as a Dutch? I don't know if he can play as a Dutch. But, man, I am jealous. Oh, my God, yeah. I can imagine the amount of, like, harem... My anime is Jesus. Be off the scale. All right, thank you again for showing me the Dutch East Indies and showing me what it is to actually have colonies that are worth something. Uh, even the Spanish. I mean, this is it. I think there's a mod to play in Spain. I'd have to take a look at that because that'd be kind of cool. Like, at least Spain would actually have some uh, options. You can play as Belgium, so... Ugh. I seriously need... I mean, this is, I just want to be able to actually produce rail lines. Like, is that so much to ask for? How much will we actually spend in the private capital then? I was still making, so that's good. How you doing there, Grim? Good to have you as always, my friend. Yeah. And this is it. I'd, I'd love to build a manufacturing goods. It's just... <laughs> I don't... I can't do it. <laughs> and it's... It's not fun. Uh, seriously, why is there a French call over here, though? Yeah. I mean, Pride of Nations ain't bad. It just takes forever to load. Oh, they're moving over here now. Yeah.
potentially so. Right, we're looking at 126 days here. At least those take significantly less time to produce than most other things. Uh, so the good news is, like, a couple turns from now, we'll actually have access to uh, more markets, which is excellent. I mean, the more markets we have access to, the better. Ideally, we'll be able to sell, 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 sell. And especially to, like, the um, Asian markets. I don't think they'll really have much in the way of textile production, obviously, other than from, like, the British or French or stuff like that. Uh, so we can try and take advantage of how they're quite good there. Saying that, there's, I don't think... I think the time for that is well and truly passed. I mean, like... Um, <laughs> yeah, there's the Dutch, the British, the French, Spanish. Of course, there's the Americans as well. There's somebody to contend with. But hey. We'll try yeah, I need more armies. <laughs> oh god. You know what guys, uh, do any of you, do any of you guys play Star Wars Armada? So I swear to god, like I've seen the model for the Super Star Destroyer and it looks oh I I might just buy one just as a display of one, to be honest. It looks amazing. I'd like to try and give like Star Wars Armada a go in the future. But the Super Star Destroyer just looks amazing. Like so so cool. Like, I don't know, do you like, I don't know what Star Wars Armada, do they, do they come, like, pre-made? Do you have to paint them, like, what, what's the deal? Do you have to build them? Do you have to paint them? Like, I've never seen one, like, I don't know what they come, like, out of the box. Come on, Grim, you and me, we'll get, we'll get a Super Star Destroyer. The only reason why I've not played, uh, Armada beforehand is just, the Rebels are boring. Infinitely boring. I've heard that they're supposedly going to be doing something with, uh, like, Clone Wars. Pre-made, pre-painted. Oh, that's awesome, man. Right, so we did have an engagement there. Looks like some of our additional forces have arrived. So if uh, that's the case, then we'll be okay. And we should have the forces there then to take over Yemen. I've just got to keep the supply going, really, haven't I? <laughs> yeah, I think you might be in the wrong part of the UK for that. Why is it like really empire focused around here or something? I, I mean, this is it. It's like, why the hell would you play the, like the rebels? It's like the empire is just like so much cooler. I still think there should be like a series of like films or games or something like set around like the uh, what are they what are they called now? Um, is it the Dark Empire? I can't remember what they're called now, but basically when Palpatine comes back... Uh, yeah, I, well, not even so much when Palpatine, when my uncle, Uncle Palpy comes back. Um, okay, I'm gonna get some forces out there. But more so when... Um, you have... Well, it's basically like the... Uh, what's the name of it now? The... Dodaiki... Dodraikoi. Uh, yeah, I can't remember what they call it now, but basically I've like, yeah, the wars, the successive wars between like Alexander's generals. I can't remember the actual, uh, is it the word, uh, the wars of the Diadochi? I think it's the wars of the Diadochi, something like that. Uh, but I love it when you see all these like imperial commanders, sector commanders, whatever you want to call them, and then they're like vying for control of all these different sectors. I think that's like so interesting. An increase in, uh, increase in the amount of cash flow in the hands of the French businessmen seems to have initiated a major, major economic crisis. Okay, that's not too good. Uh, I feel we should be okay. I can't say that we'd be really affected by it too entirely much. We're not really tied to them, are we? There we go.
the advance of the Daidoki. Daidoki. To be honest, in the next five minutes, I'm going to be practicing like uh, Tamagotchi. <laughs> the walls of the uh, Tamagotchi. Uh, with Armada, I, I have the Empire, but Rebels can be really fun. Yeah, it's just. <sighs> they don't have Star Destroyers, man. That's the thing, isn't it? It's like the Rebels are cool, but they don't have Star Destroyers. Like, they actually have the uh, Star Destroyers all that are, like, basically battle cruisers. Um, I, can, I can imagine you could probably get that stuff out there. FYI, I don't know why the screen's black as well, so... I'm hoping the game hasn't crashed, but... Eh, it crashed. Probably doing this thing, isn't it? I can imagine. Yeah, you can see casualties, like, in the actual objective screen. I can allow speed right there. Ah, oh, there we go. Yeah, and it's a wee little bit concerning, isn't it? <laughs> Shocking there, Fraun. That was pretty cool. But yeah, the, the Dark Empire is probably the most interesting aspect of the Star Wars universe. Okay, I'm going to say no. But I'd say my prediction for like, the actual, like, the way that the new Star Wars films is going to go, I guarantee, I guarantee, it's going to be time travel. They fucked it up so much, they can't go into the future anymore. They have to go back to the past. Right, Russia has declared war against Sweden. Ah, at least that takes them away from us. It's 1851 now, so ideally the Swedes can actually, um... That's quite a, kind of interesting, though. Is that, um... I think the Great Northern War was, yeah, definitely, definitely before this time. So I do wonder why they're at war, actually. Yeah, let's do more prequels. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, I wonder what it's about, actually. France is at war with somebody... They're at war with California. I don't know how. I'm not going to particularly question it, but uh, it's a thing. <laughs> yeah, don't let Disney hear you. <laughs> yeah, I mean, this is it. Great on wars far, far earlier than that. Probably an objective for the Russians, more than likely. Uh, but that's, that's interesting. Um, that could lead to interesting turn of events there. <laughs> yeah, Russia needs more warm water ports in Sweden. <laughs> oh dear. Okay, the economic crisis has spread then. Okay, so the economic crisis from France has spread to the Ottoman Empire. Well, gee, France. Thanks very much. Ooh, we actually bought a lot of manufactured goods there from Prussia. Excellent. Though I'm going to have to be very careful about that, considering the fact that, um, yeah, I, I'm kind of... Uh, hmm. Satisfaction has gone down. Too much private capital. Must be nice. I think what I'm going to do is, uh, stop buying coal for the time being. So, let's see. I guess I have to, hmm. Okay, we'll look towards actually selling more.
I think it might be through the manufactured goods that we have to reduce or elsewhere. I should be able to afford it. I'm going to hold on to the oil, really. So where in the boring seems to be crap UK? Um, <laughs> wait, are we talking about where I'm from, or like, did I miss the uh, context there? Ah, we do have opium in stock. Oh, um, I come from South Yorkshire. Like the Barnsley area. <laughs> the Palace of Puddin. Or the Place of Puddin, indeed. So I've read that as Palace of Mine. That sounds really interesting, actually. I'll go ahead and produce some uh, reserves, it seems. Though that is very expensive, I'm not too particularly keen on that. Never mind. <laughs> Yorkie. <laughs> oh, dear. The ironic thing is that's actually my surname, so there you go. I'm playing both sides of the coin here. Should have really given more context to that one, to be fair. It's one of those things that are quite clippable, isn't it? But that's okay. In fairness, does the US have to? <laughs> I can't imagine them having to care about their defense, really. Yeah, pretty much. Oh no, my actual surname is in York. See, the thing is with like Yorkshire puddings, it's one of these things. It's like a lot of people do really poorly. There's a lot of really poor examples out there. It's like, I'm not a big fan of this, like, all this just everywhere. It's just got loads of air in it. So I, I'd, I'd like it to have some, like, actual substance. It's like, I like mine to actually be, in effect, to put in, like, actually have some bloody substance to them. So it's like, you know when you're having, like, uh, let's say, like, a, um, a Sunday dinner, for example. It's like you've been having your Sunday dinner and that. So obviously, like, you're your meeting, etc. You're getting your gravy and there, all that sort of jazz. And the thing is, it's like, you cut into the Yorkshire pudding. It, it, it's just, it's made of air. It's like, it's just made of air. Well, lies. It's like, what the hell's the point? Just absolute lies. Yeah, it's only crispy. But you get poor examples all over. I mean, the thing is, it's like, um, the best you can get is when you actually make your own. Or if you go to like nice places, it depends really. There we go. Roast potatoes and baby potatoes. I like both, to be fair. Yeah, sure, go ahead there, um, uh, so do go ahead there, Grim. Uh, just link them in the actual Discord, I'll take a look later on. Yeah, that's it. The, uh, base needs to be thick. It's usually the opposite way around, which is, it's just not much to it. Oh, hello. Significant increase of urban population in the region of Bulgaria led to gain to one level for Sofia. Ah, oh, that's very good cars. It's Minya. 
very nice there. So population is increasing, that's good to know. Oh, I see, okay. Have them head back over there. Yeah, I sold the AR. Just not a chance to take a look at it as of yet. We'll do in the future, though. Okay, I'm gonna have to stop buying as much. I just can't afford it. We finished building a mission over here. Well, excellent. So we actually have some missionaries over here now. Silver electroplankton. All well and good, but how do I get iron horses? Give me the rails. Do I have any additional transports in here? I don't think I do. No. Right, there we go. There's a transport. See, that's an actual regular unit. I'd like to move that potentially elsewhere, to be honest. Yeah, that's a lot of steel to be fair, so if we'll stop buying steel, I don't need to buy any more of that. I just need more manufactured goods to be honest. Uh, we collected 11 state funds, 15 state funds in this quarter, thanks to our census, maritime taxes, that's good. And there we go, we finally finished the actual opium field over here, which is nice. That gives us something else that we can actually sell now, which is excellent timing. Oh, that's very good, man. Yeah, not wrong. Oh, F4, okay. I thought you meant like we're going to different markets. I think I'm going to have to send you back to go and uh, pick up some additional supply. I don't think I've got a supply depot. I'll see you later there, Fron. Have a good one, my friend. I'm going to have it sent back to, let's say, Syria, for example. I just need to figure out what we're actually going to have some supply, really.
<laughs> well, Jerusalem and obviously Syria to the north is what I mean. I'd say things are going well enough. Though. Like, we have income. We just need to obviously sort out the private capital here. I don't want to take on any additional inflation. Um, but things are going well enough. Like, we're actually gain somewhere. And we can see that. So, as far as I'm concerned, that is a big old solid win there. At least in Yemen, we can actually gain some tangible resources. It might be that we potentially declare war on Oman, depending on the actual influence of Britain in that area. The reason being, well, if I can prevent Britain from controlling them, then at least I can gain access to those resources, really. Because, my god, we need them. And I just need anything. Anything at all I can get is really nice. Well, excellent. Yeah, I mean, that is a large French force. This is it. I... Pff. We can't challenge anybody, really. We can cha well, we can challenge certain nations, but it's difficult. Okay. Hmm. We did manage to pick up a lot more of the way manufactured goods here. So Sean Coco conquered everything, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> that was quite nice. Okay. Klaus Witz in the school, very good. Professionalism. Flag signaling, okay. Molasses extraction centrifuges. Actually got some uh, pomegranate molasses downstairs, actually. Really nice. Really sweet, really bitter. Really excellent with chicken. Like, what I recommend is, like, you get some chicken, you get some onion, but just, like, saute the onion first. Put it in, like, a Dutch oven. Put, it, put some, like, oil around it, something like that, or whatever you want to use. Just make sure it doesn't stink. Saute your onion... Throw in some chicken stock from the actual chicken, um, pomegranate molasses, and just just cook it for like two, three hours, something like that, until it just literally falls apart. It's so good. But you gotta make sure. Basically, it's the I can't remember. It, it's making the Persian dish, uh, and June. Just throw in lots and lots of ground up walnut, and there you'd be excellent. You'd be good to go. But you gotta kind of you gotta grind up the walnut. We're gonna kind of like cook it a little bit. Uh, but just make sure you don't burn it, and then put it in with the actual chicken stock and the chicken and the molasses, and you, you're good to go. Good to go. Put that honey as well is nice. There you go. You guys now know how to make this in June. Uh, what I'm going to do here is stop, produce, well, stop purchasing manufactured goods, because we've got lots and lots of manufactured goods. The good news is with that, I can actually start some industrialization to a degree which is going to be excellent. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> Device that we won. <laughs> and this is Pride of Nations. Very similar game, but quite different in execution. I don't have a leader here, but I think they should be able to deal with them okay. Let's go with a conservative attack. I could go and pick up some additional troops. Well, I need to pick up the troops over here and have them uh, move over, over here to Rhodes. <laughs> and the game's really interesting. It plays, uh, they are very similar to uh, Victoria 2. Granted, I'm playing the Victoria 2 soundtrack as well, actually. Yeah, this is it. I think, um... I think you get more of a human feel in Pride of Nations, because obviously you can see your generals as such. You see them on the map, you can see the while well, the fleets and stuff moving around. It's just... It's just differently. Yeah, it's just all about the stability, really, isn't it? Uh, let's see... What do we use? What do we, uh... Am I selling steel? Oh, I'm just using steel. I must be using steel. Oh, yeah, wow. Yeah, wastages and corruption. Yeah, we'll have to let that sell down or better off using it now, actually. I don't have the private capital for anything at the moment. Um, so we're going to have to raise the private capital and start spending that still. Otherwise, it's going to be wasted, which is not exactly great. Yeah, you definitely do feel that build-up of influence in different nations. That's always a very nice thing, really. Yeah, you can see that actually not going very well there for Tunisia. Uh, they've probably... Hmm. You can see the, uh, Sard well, the Sardinians, well, the Italians are there getting involved. French are getting, well, the French are getting involved there as well. To be honest, I prefer the economic system of Pride of Nations, but I think that's one of those things. It's like you can actually influence it. It's like if the economic, well, the economy, well, the actual economy system in Victoria 2 was like fully functional as they intended, it would have been really quite good. But it's one of those things. It's like for the most part, you can just leave it on automatic control. So it's like, mm, you're not really very involved in the situation, then, are you? Okay, we are raising more private capital again. Victoria Gold Rush over here. Must be nice. In July of 1851, Melbourne broke away from New South Wales to form the colony of Victoria. Later in the month, gold was discovered by Louis Michel, uh, Michel 
and William M. Aberdeen. At Anderson's Creek, the resulting gold rush pushed Melbourne's population from 29,000 to over 500,000 by 1861, and during this period, Victoria dominated the world's gold market, and Ballarat was the world's largest gold producer. Cohen's Reef alone produced 50 tons of gold by 1891. Incredible, isn't it, really? How's France doing in California? <laughs> There's the Apache. Yeah, that's a strange one. What was the release date of Pride of Nations, actually? I can't remember when it came out. Right. Let's see. If only we had a gold field. Kind of wish and I just like find one out of the blue, but unfortunately not. Okay. Twenty thirteen, okay. When did Victoria two come out? Opium field. I've already got the opium field. Or can I build it up even further? Oh I see, so I could build opium down here as well. Well that's quite good then. But not yet while it's fighting going on. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. Okay, so what do you guys think then? Do we go ahead and try to build up some additional industry? Your service going to take a while. Or do we build up the actual base... Um, I think it's probably better to build up the agriculture and then just build up what we actually produce, like actually gain access to more of our own resources and go there. Yeah, I think we'll build up our base and go from there, really. Yeah, so all two was fantastic. How long we're looking at here, then? So, 105 days we'll actually have our industrial fortress, which would be excellent. We're looking at 180 days there. Works for me. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll actually build up the... Um... I'd like to get the tobacco going. Thessalonica's quite nice. Though, actually, let's take a look at what we produce and what we don't produce. Got rum. I don't know where the rum's coming from. It might be just we have rum and that's that. Uh, fruits. Hmm. Yeah. I think fruits is not a bad idea. I just wish I had more capital. I was thirsty vineyard, so you actually produce wine, it's okay. Input is seven capital, one manufactured good, produces four wines. So it looks like you need, right, okay, so you need a vineyard, well, you need fruits to, right, okay, but you produce fruits. Yeah, you can tend to lose a lot of men. Like a whole, whole lot of men. Okay. Sugar's interesting. Am I able to produce sugar anywhere? 
It doesn't seem like it, unfortunately. Yeah, but naval system is definitely better. I had agree with that. I think what we'll do then is... We need fruits. I'm going to go ahead and start producing fruits. We're going to have to save other private capital. Just just start spending on the actual agriculture. I'm just going to go like that. Yeah, it'd not work for World War Two, really. It works for World War One. Yeah, the crisis system in this game is really quite interesting. I like the different options. It'd be something that ideally we might be able to take a look at in the future. I'll tell you what, I think next time I do start streaming Pride of Nations, I might get my, like, paint set up and actually do some painting at the same time. <laughs> it's like the ultimate chill, uh, chill stream, isn't it, really? It's like, we're all doing other things. We're just waiting for the game to catch up. Okay. Yeah, I thought we'd be alright, but I was a little bit worried, but we are doing okay. Yeah, crosses are too out of the Balkans. I just dream of the day that we can build rails. I mean, the thing is, it's like, if we can start building rails, it'd be excellent. And had we started in 18, um, 80, obviously, we'd have had that sort of technology, but hey. Oh, well. Oh, yeah. And this is it, at least from this sort of, like, time. From 1850, we've got a lot we could do. I mean, we're in 1851, though. Oh, God, look at that. Ah, uh, I wish we had that. I don't know what the French are doing, but I wish I had that stuff. Bloody economic crisis. Hmm. Obviously, I'm not even, yeah, no wonder. That was where Rebels did. Oh, well, that's less than great, actually. Look, I do have a ready force down here, so that's quite good. Fast mover. Yeah, I do feel like getting more of a human element here. Yeah, I like seeing the actual leaders. I like seeing the actual men. It's really quite nice. March on to Basra, really. Ninety days till we have our fortress. Yeah, I mean this is it. Uh, it's increasing their experience, so that's not too bad.
Okay, trading price of supplies returned to its standard value, ammunition as well. Hmm. Yeah, having good generals is always an excellent, excellent thing. Okay, so we're taking control of this. Right. Have you march over there? Now let's go ahead and take a look at Jerusalem. I should. Yeah, it looks like it is picking up some supplies. We'll place you in there. Pick up that additional supply. We can have it moved down. The tax code. We've not taken a look at taxes at the moment. Well, we haven't really taken a look into taxes, actually. Ah, need more private capital. I don't really have that much in the way of cereals, do I? So we could definitely do a building that up in the future. Yeah, Tunis is in rebel hands. Yeah, the town's getting involved over here. Oh, our merchancy is done. That was superb. Oh, no, it's not done yet. We'll move you over and then we'll move over supply. Okay, it seems you're too big to move, actually. Right, we'll have you go and pick up those troops over there, then. Not much else for it is then, really.
Yes, yeah, so we'll continue to go ahead and, um, I think tap into the agriculture. We could then tap into wards like building more mines as well. I think that's really how we're going to have to take this, like, from the base up. And we could start producing our actual factories, which is good, don't get me wrong. But the thing is, it's like, it's not going to fix our, like, basic issues. The fact that we just don't produce enough in the way of, like, actual raw goods. So I'd say we should go with the raw goods first. Start from the bottom up, really. I still want to know what the bloody French were doing. Yeah, there we go. Nearly finished them off. I don't think we'll completely finish them off, so I might have to go back. How's it going in Sweden? The bleeding in Sweden. We'll take a look at that shortly, actually. I think we'll make this the last turn. About five past ten, and I want to go downstairs, I want to get some cereal, and I want to look at which World War II rules that I'm going to order. But you know what, I might go ahead and order some models from GHQ. I kind of want to get some, like, M1 Abrams. Not going to lie, they are sexy as hell models. Ugh, choices. But again, I do want to play bloody Armada now. Ah. It's all terrible, isn't it? Okay, let's see. How are Sweden doing? Oh, honestly, I don't know. What do, they, what do they actually have over here in Sweden, then? It's a lot of iron. It's a whole lot of iron. Yeah, iron nitrates. Uh, I don't... Well, they have a little... Uh, they got some coal in Malmo. That's not bad. Not bad. Unless they have some, really. Yeah, lots of iron, lots of nitrates. Oh, no, not, not bad. Not bad. I'm finding it very hard to raise private capital at the moment, really. Yeah, so I've got 6,700 rebels. How long until we have the merchants? I think they're done. I oh, will be a uh, three days. Ugh. But we'll have them ready next time, which would be excellent. At least we can decide where we're going to send them in the future, then. I'd say... Once the Black Sea, once the Mediterranean, more than likely. And who are we missing at the moment, then? Apparently, I can't trade with uh, Prussia. So it might be worth going for one of the. Yeah, perhaps one of the Baltic. I'm not missing anything by not being able to trade with Southern Italy for the most part. I can live with that. Uh, Russian morale is low. Oh, we'll have to take a look at that. Um. Actually, to be fair, I can trade in the Black Sea then due to proximity, so no mind about the Black Sea. So I'd say one in the Baltic. Probably should do us. I don't know, maybe one in the Mediterranean as well, just make sure we've got all of, like, Europe covered. I don't know what Mexico has. Does Mexico have anything really too terribly much? So it could be that if we moved into Mexico, I could try and pick up some, like, goods potentially cheap. Oh, Central America has a lot of fruit. And coffee, actually. 
it might be uh, might be worth moving another one to the Caribbean Maritime Trade Zone then. The reason being, there's a lot of fruit and coffee over here. Sugars as well. Tobacco. Yeah, it could be potentially worth it. The reason being, just to try and make our populations happier. It's all one trade zone, isn't it? What the hell is that? Is that gold? It must be gold. It's gotta be gold, hasn't it? 24, I don't think anything else. Yeah, I don't think anything uh, else has that sort of like price. But it can command. I do wonder if the prices are quite cheap due to the fact that there's not much in the way of market. Access over there. Well, not much in the way of demand. Right, I was working on fruits over there. I'll start the construction of a vineyard, I think. Let's see, is there anywhere better with more population, really? Trabazon might be worthwhile. Van is looking like the best option at the moment. Looks like I can actually produce you over here as well, actually. Uh, then again, actually, let's see. Port still. Interesting. I'm going to go with the tobacco. The reason being, at least I can actually have it produced in Constantinople, so that'd be nice. Try and make use of the actual population there if we can. But it's just, it's just something else that we're not producing at the moment. Mass market consumerism, okay. Department stores. Yep, he's getting some sonority over here, which is nice. There we go. So yeah, this is where we're going to leave it off here for tonight then, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you guys have enjoyed this, and it's a lot of fun. I think we'll continue doing this. Uh, I don't know about how often we'll do it, but I think every now and then. Maybe once a week or every two weeks, something like that. We'll see what we can do. Maybe more, maybe less. We'll see. But thank you very much for watching. If you guys would like to see more of this, then do let me know down in the comments below. And obviously likes. Just show me that you want to see more, really. Because it's one of these things that is a bit of a time-consuming time, time -consuming game. <laughs> We were a couple of hours in, and like, we're only in 1851. <laughs> but I, right, until next time, guys, thank you so very much. And of course, do remember to subscribe for more. And if you'd like to support the channel, see the content grow, uh, please do consider becoming a patron. It really helps me out significantly. Until next time, thank you and good night, guys. Have a beautiful evening and an even better day. Goodbye for now.